WHO considers antimicrobial resistance a developmental and global health threat. What is antimicrobial resistance? What are the actions we are taking to speed this process? And what can we do to stop it? Hello and welcome to Science in 5. I'm Vismita Gupta-Smith. We are talking to Dr. Hanan Balki today. Welcome, Hanan. Explain antimicrobial resistance to us, please. Thank you, Vismita. In fact, pathogens such as bacteria, viruses, parasites, and fungi try to find smart ways to avoid the effect of medications that want to stop their multiplication or prevent them from existing. If we focus on bacteria, for example, antibiotics are agents, they are medications that are used to uh, prevent the multiplication, so they kind of stop the bacteria in their tracks, or they actually kill them off. And uh, what we're seeing now is we're seeing with um, the many, many uh, issues that are leading to the development of resistance in the bacteria that are making them uh, more powerful and they can cause a lot of harm. Hanan, explain to us what are we doing to speed up this process? The reality is that these, as I said, the bacteria, they want to survive. And whenever they're exposed to these antibiotics, um, they actually find smart ways to resist the effect of the antibiotic. So anything that we do, whether we add antibiotics in the animal feed, whether the antibiotics uh, leak into the environment, into our water, into our food, and also when we intentionally and knowing, knowingly take antibiotics uh, without a physician's prescription, without a doctor's prescription, and we use these antibiotics, we are actually assisting and helping these bacteria to develop defensive mechanisms, which is in other words called uh, resistance. And that's why we work with the animal health, with the uh, environmental health, and WHO, we're all working together so we can find ways to uh, use antibiotics less and only use them when needed and in the appropriate way. Hanan, are there actions we can take uh, to prevent these germs from becoming resistant to our treatments? Yes, on the solutions it's very important because this is where we all come together, whether as humans within the different sectors, it, it becomes very important that we are aware of what is it that we can do to stop uh, the continued emergence of resistance. So. At the individual level, I think it's very important that those who have the, uh, the ability to only use antibiotics through a prescription, it's very important. So using an antibiotic uh, with a prescription, uh, with the right uh, compliance to the instructions and not stopping it once you start feeling better. I think that's very important. Not sharing your antibiotics with your family members, not saving um, the remaining of your antibiotic course for a, a future illness. All these are simple uh, issues, but they're very important. For example, in the healthcare setting, where the uh, spread of bacteria takes place in a, in a very uh, unvisible fashion, but it does take place between the different patients, uh, between visitors and patients. So visiting hospitals only when necessary, making sure um, that the basics of hand hygiene, uh, of the respiratory etiquette, covering your, ma your mouth and nose when sneezing, washing your hands and or uh, sanitizing them with the uh, uh, alcohol hand gels. All of these issues that we also learned, by the way, during the COVID pandemic, the basic hygiene uh, principles in our daily life become very, very important to prevent the spread of antibiotic resistance and antimicrobial resistance as well, and prevents the spread of infection that eventually leads to the more the, the larger prescriptions of and use of antibiotics. So th those are the, the, the things that we can do on a daily basis. But there are uh, processes that we are putting in place, that we are working together with the different organizations and with the countries to make sure that we're not, we're not using antibiotics as 
a compensation for lack of hygiene when it comes to the animal, human, and environmental sectors. That we make sure that our environment is healthy and clean and that we also take care of ourselves, preventing illnesses and preventing the necessity to use antibiotics. So all of these factors uh, combined together, hopefully we will start bending the curve on antibiotic resistance. Thank you, Hanan. That was Science in 5 today. Until next time then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stick with science.